news of another shooting of innocent school children, this time in Nashville, Tennessee. The president has been briefed on the situation and our team is in contact with DOJ and local officials about what is known so far. We want to express the president's appreciation for the first responders and prayers for all the families affected by this shooting. While we don't know yet all the details in this latest tragic shooting, we know that too often our schools and communities are being devastated by gun violence. Schools should be safe spaces for our kids to grow and learn and for our educators to teach. As you all know, President Biden has taken more action than any president in history on gun safety from nearly two dozens, two dozen actions, including the executive order he just signed last month, or this, this month, pardon me, to the Bipartisan, Bipartisan Safer Communities Act legislation he signed into law after the tragedies in Uvalde and Buffalo. He also believes it's not enough. We must do more, and he wants Congress to act, because enough is enough. In his State of the Union, the President called on Congress to do something to stop the epidemic of gun violence, tearing families apart, tearing communities apart. How many more children have, have to be murdered before Republicans in Congress will step up and act to pass the assault weapons ban? You can't tell a seven-year-old that a sex change is wrong. And if we as a society cannot agree that sexualizing children, not just at drag shows, but every single mainstream streaming service network that we watch, if you can't say that's wrong, then you can provide no solutions. Only problems. Only hopelessness. Hopelessness disguised as kindness. Disguised as love. Wearing the cloak of tolerance. But hey, let, let's go to that. On that front, we're more tolerant than ever. If it worked... We're more progressive than ever. We have more racial awareness than ever. More people are checking their privilege than ever. More smashing the patriarchy than ever. More college courses offered on these subjects than ever. More LGBTQ, AAIP, and a silent number two youth than ever. And more people rejecting objective truth than ever. More people without both a mom and a dad than ever. More people rejecting God than ever. But let's just... Let's just blame guns. Let's just blame guns. Mental health, let's talk about it. We're not really allowed to talk about it. And this is why my raison d'etre and people here, I don't know how you pronounce it here in the American way, French Canadian, apologies, I don't mean to sound like an affected prick, uh, is to fight back. Guys, I wanna talk about this for a minute. What they're actually doing to us Again, they're, they're trying to take away our rights, our legal rights, man. What our forefathers fought for. Again, the right to bear arms. They're going after guns. They're saying the gun, gun violence, man, gun violence. Guns kill people. No, people kill people. Gun, they use guns, yes, yeah, sometimes, yeah. But guns kill people, not people. And, and and that's what they're trying to tell you. They're trying to, get to convince people that hey, guns are the problem. And guns aren't the problem. People are the problem. People are doing this. People are killing one another. The hatred within us. The mental health. The spiritual health. Whatever you want to call it. That is what the problem is. The problem is guns. The problem is us, what we're doing. You know, I understand the vast majority of these killings, of these mass shootings, are done by young men. I get that. From all races, I know they say majority of white men, white, white people are the majority of the population. But what they found out in these mass shootings is that these mass shootings are committed by by young men of all races in proportion to their population numbers. 
So again, man, this is something we see across the board. But they want you they want you to look at the guns. They don't want you to look at what is going on, the hatred, the mental health, what is going on with them people. And then they want to infuse this hatred through the media. They want to infuse this hatred, divide people into groups. And then they step back and they watch what happens. They watch what unfolds. People are fighting amongst each other. They're killing each other. I mean, again, look, look at all the killings that go on within these communities, these inner city communities. They're killing people. They're shooting people. You know, stray bullets are killing kids. But they don't talk about that stuff as much. They don't bring the amount of attention to it. As what happened when these six people were killed yesterday at the school in Nashville. Again, they bring all kinds of attention to that. And then there are the White House calling for, you know, gun reform and we gotta pass this bill and that bill. Yeah. They're trying to take away your rights. That's what they're trying to do. They're saying, you know, we want to go after you. And again, it's easy to control a unarmed population. But again, if you were old enough to to be around before 9-11, you, you, you can kind of look at things. When you look back, they've kind of eroded away rights. Little bit by little bit by little bit over the past, you know, 20 plus years. And, uh, you know, I, again, they are never going to look at the solution. They're never going to find the solution because they won't look at the problem. They won't actually look at the problem because, again, they want to blame the pro- their problem on guns. And it's like, well, you know, if you, if, you will, if you won't look at the problem, if you want to blame it on some other things or other boogeyman so you can go after that and take it away, you will never find the solution because you're not looking for a solution. You're not looking for a solution to that problem. You're looking for what you, some way to push your agenda. So again, the problem is mental and spiritual health within a person. Like this trans person that committed the crime they committed yesterday in Nashville. Again, they, they, the trans people, they have a 42% suicide rate. 42%. That's 19, 19 times higher than the general population. 19 times. So again, <laughs> we're talking about mentally disturbed people, period. And we all know this. I mean, come on. We all know this. It's not about it's not about affirming people or whatever. That that's not gonna do anything for them. It's that make them worse. Because again, that's not giving people what they need. Because it's not being honest. Well, if we all affirm them, then they wouldn't feel the way they no, it's not true. They feel the way they feel because they know they're not what they want to be. They know they're not what they claim to be. They know this. If they knew that, if they actually thought they were whatever they said they were, then they wouldn't need affirmation from other people. So again, we, we got to understand that um, by by affirming people that aren't something, you're not you're not doing them a service. You're doing them a disservice. Being honest with people is doing them a service. You know, I'm not saying that we need to be harsh or mean, but honest is best. But sit there and say that um, that person being trans didn't have, it's not a mental health issue. Again, these are people that want to cut off body parts until they feel better. They want to have things added until they feel better. They want to take hormone blockers and 
therapy and whatever until they feel better. They want to do something to physically change them themselves until they feel better. That is what the problem is. We got to be honest, you know, there's a mental health issue going on. But again, they're wanting to blame that upon guns. Because again, they want to take those guns away from you. So that's what they're doing. They're blaming it upon something so they can take something away. And, um, you know, it, it's really kind of a tragic situation, again, that we find ourselves in with this. Because, again, they're, they're, they're not going to look at the actual problems. So they can never find solutions. So, again... We got to be honest about what is actually happening within our country and what what they're trying to do. But hey, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks. You son of a... You son of a... You son of a... You son of a...